When you combine the power of Evernote and its ability to link to notes with the power of quick response or QR codes, you can use your smartphone to access a world of information right at your fingertips. I'll show you how with a simple example. But before we start, take a moment to think about how many product owner's manuals you have cluttering up valuable space in your home. We used to think we were organized simply because we had them collected into a bunch of binders or stored into files. But now, they take up no space at all, and yet we have all the information we need, when we need it, where we need it, and how we need it. And it's all searchable. The same thing goes for lists, maintenance schedules, and instructions. Interested in how to organize the information you and your clients need using technology from this century? Well, here's how. Let's take a set of instructions that we need to follow. Make a note in Evernote, and then we'll use a smartphone to scan a QR code that I put on the back of my Apple TV remote. So now I can follow all the steps it takes to mirror my iMac desktop to my TV in the office. So let's start out in Evernote, and you can find that at evernote.com. I've already written out my instructions, so I'll open that note. And as you can see, I've labeled the note, How to Mirror iMac to Office TV. And I've gone ahead and listed each step that it takes to do that. So once that's done, I simply go over to this blue action arrow and I have the option to copy the notes link to the clipboard. This is a public link, but for this, I think I'm gonna use a private link. So in order to do that, I just go over to the menu and select the note dropdown and you'll see the option copy note link. So I click on that to copy it to my clipboard. Let's take a closer look at how you link to notes. Considering the information you're linking to, will guide you toward which type of link to use based on your personal comfort level for your information security. I use the public link called the share URL link for common information that is generally available to everyone anyway. So for items such as most owner's manuals, how-tos, maintenance checklists, etc. For information I'm more guarded about, I use the private link called the note link in the menu. Notes that contain personal details, contact lists, personal instructions, etc. are safe using the note link. And here's how we create the QR code we'll be using. Next, I open up a site called Kawa to create the QR code. You can find it at qrcode.kawa.com. Now, QR codes can be used to code URLs, plain text, phone numbers, text messages, and even your contact information. So I'll simply paste the link we copied from Evernote and then click the Generate button. And our QR code is produced instantly. So I can hover over the image, and I could right-click and either Save Image As or Save to Downloads. But since I'm on a Mac, I'll cancel, and I'll just click and drag our QR code right over to the desktop. So with our QR code ready, I'll open up Dymo Label Writer, and I have the one inch by one inch template pulled up. We'll be using an image, but first I need to add the image to my clip art. That's easy. Just click on the plus sign to add and I can select our new QR code from the list and it pops right up over in my clip art box. Now I simply click and drag that over to the label template and drop it in. Then I click the image to select it and drag out the sides so I can fill as much of the square as possible. It makes for a nice uniform label. There we go. Once I'm done, I simply Come on down to the blue print button and click print. And just like that, our label prints out instantly. So we tear it off and take a good look. There it is. Now I love the Dymo because the software is great and you can use lots of label sizes. It's fast and quiet. And the biggest thing is it's thermal so there's no dry time or no expensive ink. It's absolutely a fantastic product. Now, if you don't have a label writer that can print out QR codes, or you just choose not to buy one, you could always print them out on paper using a regular printer, cut them out, and use clear tape to attach the QR code to your item. But personally, I prefer the Dymo label writer. So on my iPhone, I use the iDigma reader. There's lots of readers out there, but you can find iDigma on the iPhone app store, and this is what it looks like there. So now we just click on the icon, it'll begin to read instantly, and as soon as it focuses on our code, up pops Evernote and all the instructions that we made for mirroring our iMac to our TV. 
So think of the endless uses for this technology. It's so easy to do. You can use it just like commercial businesses do for inventories for your property and your keepsakes. All my manuals are digital and I have QR codes on all my appliances and electronics linked directly to the manuals. Any directions, instructions, or how-tos can all be put in there as well. I also use it for home or office maintenance schedules, lost and found labels, and if you're one of my professional organizer clients, I'm sure you can come up with a lot more ideas than I can. So I hope this helps. You can always learn more uses for tech for yourself or your clients at techfororganizers.com. I'll list all the products and links that I use in this video at techfororganizers.com slash QR. So that's it. Now you too can have access to a world of information right at your fingertips by tapping into the power of Evernote, QR codes, and your label writer.